Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com, and today we are going to talk about making colors look vibrant. And one especially tricky color to make look vibrant is green. So here on the left is the original version of this image, and the whole thing doesn't really have a very vibrant color quality to it. So if I want to make his skin look more green, one way to do that is to actually use less saturation. So let me show you what I mean. Here in this version, his skin really pops. It's really visible. And the trick I use to accomplish this is in the entire image, I didn't use much color at all. The whole image is not very saturated. But when it comes to his skin, that's where I've put all of my saturation. So just like in the principles of design video where we talked about creating a focal point by using contrast, here the contrast is the amount of saturation. So if you were to see this in chart form, most of the colors would be here near the center. They do not have much saturation. But then near the focal point where I want his skin to look really vibrant, that's where I've put my saturation. Because color is really interesting in that it is all about relativity. So for instance, if I were to make another version of this where the whole thing was green, 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 well, at this point, you can't really tell if his skin is green or not. Even though I've not changed his skin at all between these two versions, all I've done is change the background, it becomes hard to tell what the local colors are. It becomes hard to tell the difference between the color of his skin and the color of the bark. It's almost like there's a green tinted light cast over the entire image. As a painter, you're going to have to learn to recondition yourself to think about color. Because as a kid, we all picked up the crayons and the markers and we knew things in absolutes. What color is grass? Green. What color is the sky? Blue. And we think of them in full saturation. Well, that is not going to lead to very great painting. Painting color is all about nuance, choosing where to put the color and where to remove the color. And as you've seen in this demonstration, I pretty quickly took an old painting and tweaked the colors. This is one thing Photoshop is great at. So a great way to test out this principle is to find some of your old artwork and try changing the colors. Manipulate it in such a way to create one area of vibrant color that you have to look at. And do that by just diminishing the rest. Have fun. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.